And Drew Fitry trying to wiggle out of a slight jam. He's created, and this is going to make it hard for him to do so. Base hit inside the line at third. And Coming scoring. around to score is Les. Bumgardner will stop at third. It'll be second and third with one man out. And Upstate in the lead. Spartans strike first. one nothing with the RBI single by Luke Weber. He continues to produce, John. Weber leads off second. Here's a line drive. Base hit in the left field. Bumgardner will score easily. They're going to send the trailing runner to the plate. He will score. Weber crosses. It's 3-0 upstate as they jump all over Drew Fitchery. He's one of the better uh, sacrifice bunters on this team, but there you see a base hit. He's going to score dump a, a single into left. Coming around third to score is Stampler. Trailing runner will stop at second, but it's 5-2 upstate way to determining which direction this game heads. And he will bounce it over the head the of the first baseman who leaps. Run. Coming home to score is Lesh. Rounding third is Bumgardner. The throw will be cut off. Two more for Upstate. It is a 7-2 game. Four for Upstate. Seba works his way around a third. And here's a pitch line hard and this fair. Down fair. the left field corner. Coming home to score easily is Seba. This will most likely score Morris as well as Tyler Richardson. Ropes one into the 335 area down in the left field corner. And he just willed that thing fair. Comes the 1-0 pitch after the breaking ball misses. And Weber almost identically to what he did in the first inning. Ropes it inside the third base bag. That's going to score all three Spartan base runners. And Weber will stand up at second base with a three RBI double here in the bottom of the fifth inning. He's trying to find a way to add another run to that total. And here's one hit high into the gap. Toward the wall, backing the wall. up off it's it as a center fielder Linder, and he will watch it sail out of here. It is going to be a three-run home run off the bat of Trey Richardson. Another guy who's had a multi-RBI day. Richardson last time up, I think, doubled in a couple of runs. Richardson driving it high and deep out of here. May have been aided just a bit by that win, but he hit the ball very well. Got good wood on it. Guy that keeps, keeps Jumps on this one. Skies it into left. It's going to one-hop the fence. Coming home to score is Bumgardner. Trailing Bumgardner is Weber. Morris will score. Three more RBIs eight RBI and an eight-RBI day for eight. Trey Richardson, who stands up at second base. So the Spartans pick up a record-breaking victory on opening day here at Harley Park, and two of the reasons standing by right now are Brandon Lee and Trey Richardson. Brandon, you go six innings, you strike out seven, a performance like that's what you're going to want night in and night out, especially when you hit conference play. Yeah, it was a good start for me. I had a shaky uh, second inning. But uh, it was a good start, good start for our team, and it uh, should carry into tomorrow against Kentucky. What does it feel like when you get that kind of run production? You're not going to get that every time. But, you know, when you, over 20 runs are put up behind you, that's got to calm you down just a bit. Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling to have. Uh, you get kind of tired and kind of bored sitting in the dugout. But when you get all, all those runs, it uh, frees you up when you're out there on the mound to get to throw what you want. Speaking of run production, you just want to drive them all in yourself, Trey. Eight RBIs, eight RBIs on the day, including a three-run home run way out of here to left center field. You must have been seeing the ball pretty well tonight. Yeah, it was. I felt good. Uh, you know, we've worked hard this whole year, and, uh, you know, I think we deserve a win like that to start off the season. Trey, does this speak to the kind of powerful explosion this team can have night in and night out throughout the season? I really do think it does, you know. Uh, like I said, we work hard. Uh, we get up early every day. Those weightliftings, they're hard. And, uh, you know, we're good. So, Kentucky tomorrow. You turn some heads tonight putting up so many runs. You can really make a statement if you play with one of the top teams in the country. What's your mindset going into tomorrow's game? Win. That's what I want to do. I want to win. And I think we can do that. So we'll see you tomorrow. If you haven't figured it out already, this is an explosive and exciting upstate Spartan baseball team. And you'll want to come out and see them the remainder of this weekend. Kentucky tomorrow, Georgetown on Sunday, and a memorable season ahead. Spartans 1-0 and on the young season after picking up a big victory against Niagara in the first game of the year. Coach, you got to be real pleased with the performance of all your club top to bottom. Yeah, I am. Uh, Brandon threw well, you know, he and he just got us into the game, which is what you always ask out of your starter. And then, uh, you know, the offense performed. You know, obviously we hit the ball, but, you know, we were also able to draw some walks. We took some hit by pitches. So there, there was a lot of offense tonight. And, you know, hopefully that's a good sign and a sign of things to come this spring. 
Your hitters were very patient early when the game was in doubt. You've got to be pleased with the way they approached their bats. Yeah, I was. I would say early there were only a couple of at-bats that I had issues with with regard to our approach. Um, but other than that, yeah, real pleased with how they did, and, and hopefully they can continue to do that. Made a statement with the amount of runs you scored. What did folks learn about this team tonight that maybe they didn't know coming in? I, I don't know. You know, we, we played well tonight. We were ready to go. Um, you know, Niagara, I know, didn't play as well as they wanted to. Um, so, I mean, we'll see. And, you know, there's a reason you play 56 of them instead of just one. Um, so, but, uh, you know, it's it's nice to get off to a good start. You know, you certainly be uh, rather be on the, you know, the, the winning side of something like that. Um, you know, so, I mean, we'll just see. I, um, historically, we have started a little quick here. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that hopefully we can continue that this year. It is a long grind. There's a big one with Kentucky tomorrow. What's your approach going into that game? Well, you know, I told the guys after this one, we're going to need tough guys tomorrow. You know, the weather's a shaky deal. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have to come out and handle it and, and, and give them our best shot and see, uh, you know, how we do. Uh, we know that they've got a very good team. They handled us, uh, I thought, fairly easily last year. So, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to perform tomorrow and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But, you know, I think we're all looking forward to it. I mean, certainly, uh, you know, you, you look forward to playing a team of that caliber. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night, Coach. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Upstate Spartans making a statement early in the season. This is an exciting baseball team, and you'll want to keep up with them at www.upstatespartans.com.